YouTube, before we start, you already know, smash the like button for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. Make sure to follow Team Island on the IG page, TikTok, Twitter, because your boy is always active. If you have any questions, be sure to DM me. Also, don't forget to check out our website. We got a lot of things going on over there if you want to take your game to the next level. We got in-person trainer if you're located near Phoenix, Arizona. And we got the members area where you get access to all our film, all our drills, and you'll be able to schedule Zoom sessions with me. But most importantly, what's really crazy is this is an app, but you gotta be a member to get it. Go ahead, check it out and sign up and let's take your game to the next level. Now let's get right to the video. Today's video is a special one. This right here might really, really take your game to a whole nother level. We're gonna talk about your pre-snap reads. This is a very important aspect of the game. When you have pre-snap reads, you're able to eliminate certain things and start to have a feel what the office is trying to do. Obviously, you're gonna be watching film all week. You're gonna find things from film that you're gonna to use to use on your pre-snap reads. But first thing first, we gotta know the formations, personnel, you gotta find certain things, certain indicators that's gonna help us to recognize certain plays, start to expect certain things the office is trying to do so we can put ourselves in position to make a play. Now, when I say this, you gotta keep in mind your coverage. The coverage called the play. If it's man, it's man. So you look at the receiver, the split of the receiver, you know, where he lines up at, and then you start to figure out what type of route to expect. The down and distance is very important. If it's zone coverage, you gotta know where your help is at. So now you start to communicate with your teammates. Hey, he lines up here, expect this route. So now you pass it off to your teammate. Hey, watch the end, watch the post, watch the dig, you know? So stuff like that. So now we're working as a team so everybody can eat. But if you're just out there lining up, not communicating, very important, not communicating, not saying what you see. You're not helping your teammates out. You're not helping yourself out. And the offense is gonna have that step over you to make a play. So first thing we're gonna talk about the offensive formations. Now, every formation has to have seven people on the line. Seven people on the line, at least seven. It's an ineligible formation. So if you look right here, we got the center, two guards, the two tackles. We got a tight end. That's six. And then the receiver, that's seven. All right? Now, keep in mind, if the other receiver is on the line where the tight end's at, that tight end is ineligible to release for a pass. So you have to keep in mind, you have to see that. If the corner sees that the receiver's on the line and there's a tight end on that side, you got to communicate that with your teammates and let them know, hey, ineligible, ineligible, ineligible. You gotta say it too and make sure it's loud because sometimes these referees are like not paying attention to that. And now when you say they're like, okay, he's on the line. So now if he does release for a pass, it's ineligible. He can't, so it's a flag. All right, so those little things, we don't only communicate for us, but also sometimes get these refs on their game because sometimes you know how the refs are sometimes, you know, they be, they be, they, yeah. So let's, yeah. So now we have to understand the personnel groupings, offensive personnel. So I know you guys see it in Madden, 21 personnel, 22 personnel, 20 personnel. What does that mean? First number is the number of backs. So number of backs not including the quarterback. So it's the running back, fullback, or there's two running backs. And then the second number is number of tight ends. So let's say there's two backs in the backfield. So it's gonna go two and there's one tight end, 21 personnel. Let's say there's one back in the backfield and one tight end, 11 personnel. One back in the backfield, two tight ends, 12 personnel. Make sense? If there's no back, no tight end, then it's empty. Now you can expect what certain players are gonna be in a formation. So. 20 personnel, there's no tight end, so now we're expecting right, more receivers. 10 personnel, one back, no tight end, receivers. Now when we hear that, and when we see that, now we can, based on our film study, we can already expect certain plays. Now you understand what I'm talking about, where film study and everything all comes together in our pre-snap reads. 
Let's look at this formation right here. We got two backs, two tight ends, 22 personnel, right? Motions again. So now we got two backs, two tight ends, 22 person. If you look at this formation right here, it looks like heavy run formation, right? Please snap read as an in the box safety right now. You're down and you're in the box. You see this formation, you think it run. So you're reading your keys to what see it's a run, right? So if you playing outside, you see the tight end block down, you fit in outside in, right? You take, you ready to set the edge or make a play. If you're in the corner with the tight end side, you're reading the tight end. If he blocks, you get ready to come up outside contained. Make sure everything goes back inside. If you're in the middle of the field safety, playing back, right? You see this formation. You kind of think you're run too, but but you gotta be, you're gonna be the last person to come down and make the tackle. You're the safety. You're make sure nothing leaks out, right? So you're gonna clean everything up. So now you're taking your read steps, you pedal it. You're taking your time to see everything to make sure it's a run before you come down. Find your closest threats. So your closest threats are the two tight ends, right? Two tight ends are your closest threats. So make sure you key down and make sure you read that it's a run or pass off them. You're the corner to the receiver side. You see this formation. Yes, it looks like a run formation, but you also got to think about it. They probably put it everybody on the line to block max protect so they can take a shot one-on-one -on -one with you so you have to put that in mind right if this is the best receiver or this is the go-to guy and everybody's on the line max protect this is what your thought process should be they're not gonna do all this max protect for a five-yard route or quick route right they're gonna try to take a shot because they're gonna they want to max protect to develop time for the quarterback to throw the ball so expect something funky, double move, um, something weird route, you know, something that you're not really expecting. So be alert and be ready. Now, you've been watching film, you've been studying the receivers, their alignments, everything. So now you know where the receiver lines up at certain spots. Now you know where the receiver split is at, you can expect certain routes. Right here we got a cut split. Remember the NFL numbers are more inside than regular college and high school numbers. That's why it's a cut split and the ball is on the closest hash. So now it's definitely a cut split. You see this in the game, pre-snap read, you're gonna line up a little bit outside shade of the receiver, right? You're gonna communicate that with your teammates Alert in, alert in, alert in. If you're zone coverage, you make sure you, whoever has inside zone inside of you, you let them know, hey, oh, alert the in route. Communicate that with them. This is where you have to trust yourself. Trust your film study. You're gonna line up outside leverage and you're gonna play that outside shoulder. You're not just gonna backpedal and let him go all the way inside. You're gonna squeeze it. You're still gonna squeeze it because if he does run it, dig or something inside, you have to be there but you're not gonna try to beat him inside if you have help inside, especially. So he's running his route, you're gonna play that outside shoulder. That film study, those pre-snap reads is where it's gonna take you to make that next step and help you be a step ahead of the offense because now you're already expecting an outside route. Now there's another way of reading formations by how many receivers are eligible. So for instance, right here, we got three by one. Receiver, receiver, tight end, they're all eligible because the number one receiver's off the ball, the number two's off the ball, so the tight end's eligible. So three, by, and then a single receiver backside, one. That's why it's very important when we, when we line up, we have to always communicate how many receivers are on your sides, corners. This is very important. You gotta let them know because safeties, they got other thing, they have other things to worry about. Find their tight end, look for the strength and weak side. All that stuff is very important. So now you gotta help them out. And be like, hey, three, 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 I got three, I got three. So that, that alerts the safety and somebody who needs to bump out to the number two receiver. The other receiver, the other corners, yeah, like, I got one, I got one, I got one. Safety don't need to be on that side. 
Another very important thing is a down and distance. This is why I always stress when you watch a film, watch film by down and distance. Watch the offense study what they do in certain situations. Third and five, they're not taking a shot. They're going to try to get to the sticks. So what routes would they do to try to get to the sticks? Those little things right there is what's going to help you be a step ahead of the offense. So you see that. You communicate that with your teammate. Make sure everybody's on the same page. So now everybody sees it. So they know that what you see, or what they see, and what everybody else is seeing is the same thing. Now, when you're in the game, don't get lost. Understand what's going on. Understand the situation. Very important. You always got to know how much time there's left in the game. Is it getting close to the end of the quarter, end of the half? Is it end of the game? Do they need to score? How many points do they need to score? Do they need a touchdown, a field goal? Do they just need to get this first down to ice the game? What, you got to know these things because if you don't and you're just out there playing, you might, you might be playing it differently than you should. And if there's 10 seconds left of the game, they need a score, you're not gonna press, right? You're gonna play off. If it's 35, they need a first down, no timeouts. We expect them routes to be towards the sideline. So expect out, maybe a quick fade to go outside. This is why you have to know the situation. Yes, I get it, this is a bad play call. I don't know why they're blitzing everybody in this situation, but you're the one that's playing. You're the one that's in the situation. Know the situation. Know what you got to do, okay? There's no need to bite on a double move if they need a score. Third and 10, 13 seconds left, they're down by four, right? There's no need. If they complete, they catch that, we just tackle it, they waste the clock. That's where you have to know the situation, understand the pre-snap reads, know the down and distance, know how much time this left, all those little things, because that's what's gonna help us understand what the offense is trying to do and help us be a step ahead. This is why I always say you have to know where your help is at. Based on where your help is at, we could use that as an advantage. So if we have middle of the field help, especially the slot guys, we can line up outside leverage. Right? Because we don't have help outside, we have help inside. So you have to trust your teammate to do his job so he'll be there for you. But if you line up inside, you have no help outside, you, you're just making it easier for the receiver. Right? So always understand where you have your help is, you know the coverage, very important. Safeties, pre-snap read, always find your closest threats. Know your coverage, find your closest threats. And eliminate routes as they leave your zone. Very important. You gotta know who the QB's favorite target is. When they get to the red zone, or when they, it's money down, they need to get this first down, who is their go-to guy? You have to find that guy. Very important, pre-snap read, find that guy. Especially when you see something like this. This guy's always, he's lined up as a tight end, and all of a sudden he's split outside. They're gonna test you right here. Kinda of expect what the offense is trying to do. They're gonna to try to force the ball to him, take a shot. They think that he's better than you, so boom, they're gonna try to get this touchdown. This is why you have to understand the offense. They're giving us cues, they're giving us indicators of what they're trying to do. You just gotta find it. From film study to your pre-snap read, understanding the, the, the situation, down and distance, know your coverage, how your coverage can help you make this play, how your coverage can help your teammate make this play. 
So all those things, you have to be alert. You have to see it. He has a cut split. This is what to expect. He's lined up wide. This is what to expect. So those things you have to use as your pre-snap reads. Be dialed in in the game. You can't just line up and play. You got to have a process. You have to think about what's the offense trying to do. Don't think too much now. We, we're not sitting here thinking. We're not taking a math test. It's just what you see, you eliminate things. That's all it is. You see it. Okay, this is the formation. This is the personnel. This is what to expect. So you can be in better position to make plays. So you can help your teammates make plays. And overall, your defense can dominate the offense. Now, if you use all these tips and tricks, you'll be able to understand what the offense is trying to do from watching film and use that in your pre-snap reads to, to be a step ahead of the offense. Remember, make sure to follow us on IG, TikTok. What up? Check out our website if you really try to take your game to the next level. If you're located near Phoenix, Arizona, trying to get some DB work in, schedule a session, and let's get right. If you're not located near Phoenix, Arizona, but you still want to take your game to the next level, join our members area, get access to all our drills, all our film, and you'll be able to schedule Zoom calls with me, and you'll be able to upload your own film, your own drills, I'll be able to coach you up that way too. So we're going to get better regardless. So there's no excuses. But if you really want to take your game to the next level, let's get it. So that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.